This is Stock Jockey for HotStockMarket.com. A common question that new investors often have is how do I get started in the stock market? How do I, as a new investor, begin to grasp the different facets of the market? The answer is actually right in front of you. The computer screen you're looking at, what is it? A Dell, IBM, HP, Apple, these are all public companies. If you want to buy a new screen, who will you go buy it from? Will you go to Dell? It could be that there's 10,000 other people just like you also wanting to buy a new screen from Dell. Go see how Dell stock is doing. That's an easy way to get started. As another example, I'm going to pull up something which baffled me last year. Crocs. You know those plastic sandal shoe thingies that you see everyone wearing? Yes, I know they are very comfortable. But come on! It's a piece of molded plastic on your foot. The stock has had an amazing run since 2006. I mean, this thing just took off. But have you been to a store lately and seen how many crocs are sitting there on sale? Inventories are sky high, and I don't think people are buying more of these shoes. In fact, the fad is done, and the stock would seem to agree if you look at that. Another example I like to uh, bring up right now, which is close and dear to my heart, Krispy Kreme. Let me just pull up the tenure on that. Let me use this one as another example of just keeping your eyes open for trends around you. Krispy Kreme went public, must have been around 7 bucks. The stock was spectacular. The thing just soared. The media loved it. Everyone loved it. When a Krispy Kreme store opened next to me, I went and waited in line for it must have been two hours before I could get my box of donuts. This was, by the way, the first time I've eaten Krispy Kreme donuts. I got the chocolate glazed, I think. And boy, were those donuts good. I ate the first one right there in line. I ate the second one on the way to the car. I ate the third one in the car. I ate the fourth one driving the car. I ate the fifth one in the driveway. And by the time I got to the sixth one, I was so full and I was so disgusted by those 1,500 calorie packets of fat and sugar just melting in your mouth. Well, it was actually pretty good. But by the time I finished the six donuts, I really didn't have a craving for any more donuts. And I think that's actually the last time I had a donut ever. Well, I wasn't the only one who felt that, and I think it was around 2003 where the whole Atkins diet phase kicked in also, and people just stopped eating donuts. Well, they ate less donuts, and as you can see, less donut sales, less profits, and there goes Krispy Kreme. So, by keeping your eyes open to trends around you, you can already get a heads up to what's going to happen in certain stocks. My advice to new investors is to also pick out stocks in many different sectors. I'm punching up a map of the market here. This is from smartmoney.com slash market map. And it's basically showing me what the different sectors have done today in the markets. For example, we can see that financials are generally in the red, whereas energy has done well today and generally in the green. Now, why I bring this up is that I think new investors, what you should do is grab a couple of stocks from each sector and put them on your watch list. Start following them. See what press releases come out. See how the chart does. Follow the stock chart. See how it trades. Odds are, in any day, one sector will be up, one will be down. And understanding this will give you a better grasp of the markets. As an example, Pfizer, you know them. Keep an eye on that. JP Morgan, Red Today, you know JP Morgan, ExxonMobil, everyone's heard of them, Microsoft, Intel, GE, and well, we don't know what that one is. But the point is, once you've built your watch list of all different sectors and all different stocks and keeping an eye open for trends around you, soon you will start to get a good grasp of the dynamics of the market and the wheels will be set in motion. Now, close this window down, pull out your pen and paper, build that watch list, and get started.